All right, thanks so much, Lauren. The investigative unit is digging deeper this morning into a disturbing story of how a toddler got hold of fentanyl and tragically died while in his mother's care. And you know, uh, we've learned that it's happened twice before in the past. Tune in's Taylor Rubach uh, has more on what we're uncovering this morning. Taylor, good morning. We've been reporting a lot on fentanyl overdoses, but not like this. How did it happen? Well, JP, it's a horrific case all around. The death of a two year old child, his mother facing charges, and why the child stayed in his mother's care after now three separate occasions of the child coming into contact with his mother's pills. 28 year old Whitney Ard is in the EBR Parish prison facing charges of negligent homicide, now being held on a $50,000 bond. Her son died in June, and investigators say it was the third time he was treated after eating drugs. The first two times, Paramedics had to save him with Narcan. Investigators say Ard found the boy unresponsive and cold to the touch. A friend then tried CPR until paramedics arrived. During an interview with deputies, the two-year-old's older sister told investigators she, quote, has seen a lot of pills on her mother's bed and her brother ate mom's pills, end quote. The coroner determined the child had fentanyl in his system. We've also learned that the Department of Children and Family Services knew about the previous overdoses, yet the child was not removed from the home. The mother was also arrested in May for distribution after deputies found drugs hidden throughout the house. We've reached out to DCFS for comment and are working to bring you those details once they become available. Brandy JP, back to you.